what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and i have something awesome to talk about fire force author response to fan service criticism via manga now if you guys are familiar with fire force it's very well known for its sex appeal and fan service and as you know certain people are not a fan of the fan service whether it's from tamaki or whatever character from this show whether it's the the female captain the, the black female captain with the huge boobs they don't like that stuff they hate the fan service in fact they refuse to watch it or read the manga because of the uh, sex appeal and the fan service because as you know in america right fan service is a crime well fan service is a crime only if it's a woman see if it's a, if it's a guy showing off his six pack abs and bulging mu muscles and biceps that's totally fine you know a little bit of fan service for the women they celebrate that crap they, they they post about it they post their man crushes all over the internet but when it's a woman that's showing off their voluptuous body and and, and how they look and you know, whatever that is when it's a problem that is when it's a crime to be sexy and, you know and, and no one ever complained think about it guys okay i'm not making this up no one complained when i'm um, in fairy tale when Gray will always just magically lose his shirt and then now you see just uh, his six pack abs and his bulging muscles, right? At first I thought it was like, oh, this is weird, man. I just, when you realize that was a character, I would just laugh whenever you do. I'd be like, oh, put your shirt back on. And I will just laugh at it because it was part of the show. And that's kind of, in a way, what Tamaki does. Tamaki, every, every so often she's, you know, Due to her clumsiness, she would, you know, somehow magically get out of her her her, her uniform, and you know the sex appeal, and you see, her, you know, her, her bits and bitties, and you know, and that was part of the show. It was part of the comedy, and I feel like though maybe he got that idea from Fairy Tale when Gray would just magically just lose his shirt. But you know, it's only it's, only, it's okay when the guys do it. When the girls do it, you have those people from that side of the internet, those people who just cannot stand sexy women because they just hate it they just can't stand it they go and they lose their freaking minds the article goes on to say fire force often becomes a topic of debate due to fan service tamaki a character from the series often um finds herself in an edgy moment that you don't know what edgy is right i'm not really like it's just a little bit perversion okay uh author of the manga atsuni okobo might have responded to all fan service criticism via recent chapter of the manga. In the first season of the Fire Force came out in December 2019, there were uh, already some doubts from the fans that anime would flop due to necessary fan service, and many people, after watching the anime, complained about it as well. But, I, but it seems like the author of the, of the series does not give a S about these criticisms. Now, first of all, I had no idea that was even a thing. I'm not really, I guess I'm not a big part of the anime community, you know, I, I've been watching anime since 1995 and, and, you know, from 2002 and upwards, and I, one thing I realized about the anime community is that they're toxic as shit, okay, um, they're, they're, they're toxic, alright, especially the people who are, um, easy to criticize fan service from women, the white knights who defend, you know, the other people like oh yeah i hear she's saying man i mean there's no need for her to have that much boobs and her to be so revealing but you never see hear anything when the male character is being all sexualized it's the double standard for me it's the hypocrisy for me in the recent chapter of fire force tamaki is fighting an enemy while some people in the background are criticizing her vulgarity and exhibitionism tamaki fed up with all these comments expresses her feelings. Who cares what society says? This is who I am. I will save the world with the power of sex appeal. Yes. Do it. I am with you and I'm going to continue watching the show and reading the manga. You have my full support. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Screw the freaking Twitter warriors. Who cares what society says? This is who I am. I will save the world with the power of sex appeal. If you hate skin that much, I got something to show you. I'm sick of your whining. Yes, sir. Now that is how it's done. 
Although the author here is not directly responding to the critics, but anyone with some knowledge can understand that this is an indirect response from Fire Force author to all the people who complain about the fans, um, about the fan service in the series. Listen, to all you Twitter words out there, fan service is here to stay, all right? Enough of your whining, okay? Because you guys, like I said before, don't complain when it's males with the fan service. It would be more understandable rage and, uh, and, and complaint if you complain about both men and women. But you guys mostly complain about male fan service. You guys go crazy shipping these boy characters because that's how your minds work for some odd reason. Okay? You guys love when it's, it's male fan service, but when it's women, you guys just hate when um, women are sexy and they, and they use their sex appeal. It's insane. And men don't do that. But men compare themselves to male um, characters from the show. They go hit the gym. They want to go be as strong as All Might, be as strong as Goku or Vegeta and all these other guys who have swollen muscles and biceps. That, that's what they do. No one complains about, man, that's just um, fan service, man. All these girls love that, that, that anime guy. It's weird, man. We don't, uh, we don't look like that. Like, we don't do that. I and mean, if you do, stop it. Cut it out, man. If you're one of those guys who do that, cut it out. You sound, you sound dumb. Okay, listen, point blank period, fan service is here to stay, Fire Force is here to stay, it's a great show, it's a great manga, I love this um, story, I hope they continue the story, I can't wait for the next season to come out, and I can't wait to read the manga, if you guys don't like it, suck it up, you're gonna be alright, watch something else, read something else. You don't care anymore. Subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I'm your host, Dante. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you guys the next time. Like I said, subscribe to the channel. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.